Hi and welcome to What's Trending on Vanguard Live. I am Wisdom. Today we'll be turning our attention to the Nigerian music industry that has been uh, a bit of controversy over the week following the death of the musician known as Mubad. I mean, he passed on on the 12th of September 2023 and following his death, a whole lot has been happening. He was immediately led to rest, uh, sort of people would argue, immediately after he died, the next, following the next day, that was on Wednesday last week. But there has been a lot of conversation concerning his burial, starting from the coffee where he was buried. A lot of people would say that that was not the size, uh, the good size for him. As we saw the videos of on online, uh, a lot of people said that his neck was broken to fit in. And there was also an alleged carpenter who constructed the co uh, coffin question, coming out to say that he had no time, he needed to do it to ensure that it was done quickly. No, don't forget, there was also a, a video of a bricklayer too who came up to say, there has just been so much about this particular uh, death. And uh, the people are calling out for justice because the few, uh, it was just 27, by the way. I mean, how do you explain the death of a 27-year-old person uh, who, who was, there were no medical issues before now and all of that. So there has been a lot of protests um, coming after the burial. A lot of people are saying they want justice. They want to ensure that the government is taking this matter seriously to ensure that uh, the family of this person gets justice. Talking about the family, yes. A lot of people that argue that the mother was not alive, as we saw interviews of this father, who said that the Lord give it, the Lord take it, let shall be in the name of the Lord. Of course, it, from the look of things, it was like he wasn't ready to pursue justice to find out what truly happened. And why is the backstory to all of this? The backstory is Mobad was formerly signed to Malian Records, and after he left and parted things with a particular music record, I mean, the boss, talking about Naramali, there has been a lot of confrontation here and there at different clubs. He goes to perform, and before you know, uh, there was a video circulating online where he was shooting a particular music video with Zoltan, and then we saw uh, that was disrupted by Sam Larry. That conversation is also playing out today as he's currently in Kenya, hiding out, as people would say. Uh, a lot of people have also sent threatening videos to say that, okay, can you come down to Nigeria? A lot of people are also cast. This seems to be like the canceling culture uh, right now happening to Naramali. So back and forth, the mother came up to say that um, she's, she was still alive, that of course she wanted justice for her son uh, following the back and forth that he had with the former music label. And he, he went on to actually uh, establish his own rebel music rebel record. I mean, and he produced a particular album, he, an entire album. And of course it was, he did well, he did well. And this happening right now, People are pointing fingers at their allegations, their allegations here and there concerning how uh, Naramali might just be involved in the death and Larry is not also out of the conversation. So there has been a lot of protests happening here and there. For example, in the Kiti State, um, there was a candlelight procession in honor of Mobad. Take a look at the video for yourself, I mean, and see how people honored the deceased. <laughs> Say a wish for yourself. Okay, so there's also another video um, of people protesting, a large number of people, I must say, of fans of Mobad protesting, asking that the government should take this matter seriously in order for them to find justice. Take a look at the video yourself and see their concerns.
So away from people protesting in Ugo State and Ekiti State, there were also some kind of protests in Delta State. I mean, Ikorodu, um, people from Ikorodu also protested. And here in Lagos, of course, there will be a candlelight procession in honor of Mubad happening on Thursday at Lake First One of site. And there was also uh, a walk in honor of I Mina. And uh, people here also want to seek justice. They want to ensure that the government is taking the matter seriously. So there has been a lot of accusation from different corners of the internet, as I would like to say it. I mean, Yabo uh, calling out Naramali to ask him questions. I mean, what is exactly happening in your 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 music? I mean, if, if you put together a house, you should be able to answer for it. Uh, we have other musicians who have music records um, label, and they're answering for what goes on there. I mean, there's a particular video where we saw Yabo calling out Naramali to say, can you explain to us what, what has been happening there? And then, of course, she went on to do an interview with DJ Splash, who was formally signed to that uh, same label, and he left. The conversation is is live has not remained the same. I mean, if you take a look at the video uh, of Yabo talking to the young man, and he has been sharing that there was something going on there, that he had to leave conflict here and there. And there's also another uh, another news Israel who was also signed, and then she left too at some point. So there has been a lot of back and forth in this particular music label. A lot of people would argue that it appears Mobad left, he was doing well, and that was that became an issue. But all of this is allegations on the internet and all of this happening conversation coming up on the internet so that's part of the conversation yeah but of course uh there's also a video of sam larry who is also accused being accused of having a hand in his death of course allegedly uh coming out to say that do not use me to train i don't know how many of you have seen that video online saying do not use me to train and someone responded to say we know who you are talking to you we know you are talking to auntie iabo as the person would said but we are asking you that you come down to nigeria and all of that but don't forget that the um, lagos state governor has actually made a statement on this saying that ensure that you do not take justice into your hand of course we'll be going to the governor's uh, message later but let's talk about how fans of naramali are actually reacting to all of this there seems to be the old cancelling culture thing going on right now as we have seen some radio station splash fresh fm and other um, local radio station blacklisting naramali's music saying that you cannot play his songs uh, on, on air again we have also seen videos of people in club yes uh, who are making some statements are saying um, some djs are not playing uh, i mean there was there are videos we are seeing online that okay this guy was found singing naramali's song in this particular place we did not touch him but this was what happened to him and of course we see someone wounded and all of that so there seems to be the counseling culture happening across the industry for naramali and we have seen many keys uh, who is a um, would describe as a very uh very energetic fan of naramali coming out to say that she regretted the day she tattooed naramali's face on her lap and she has gone out to make a statement to say, okay, I regret all of that. And then she has in fact, actually changed the tattoo to say that um, she's no longer associating with his music and all of that. That conversation has been going on online. And of course, um, the government on this part also has something to say. Uh, a lot of people argue that it was too late that the government ought to have said something before. But don't forget, the police had already put out a statement to say that uh, his body would be exhumed for autopsy to know what was actually responsible but there's this, an official statement by the lagos state police uh lagos state governor talking about Babajide Sonwolu, who came out to say that uh he is not he's not that he's not aware of all of this thing that is happening that he's quite aware of all of this thing that is happening but he, he has been working with different agencies to ensure that uh things are properly done that you, you of course in order to for, for us to have a smooth investigation let me read out the statement it says here i would like to assure everyone that I'm not oblivious to the sad passing of Ilere Ulua Oladimeji. That's talking about Mobad. We have been working behind the scene uh, with relevant authority and keenly following the ongoing investigation. However, in order to boost the investigation, I have directed the Department of State Service DSS to join the investigation and widen the dragnet with interagency collaboration and use of the best in class of technology to unearth the truth. I have instructed that all those who may have played any rule whatsoever in any event leading to the death of Mobad be made to face the law after thorough investigation. I hereby plead with those who have vital information that they may assist the investigation process to avail the investigating team with such. I have also appealed to the investigating team to guarantee the confidentiality and protection of all witnesses who may come forward with vital information or indicative evidence that may assist the process. The police and the DSS have promised to brief the public um, efforts periodically 
to let them know what's happening. Uh, I also appeal to all friends and fans of the deceased to stay calm and refrain from making inflammatory utterances and reaching prejudicial conclusion on the matter. Staying calm and following the process will be of our most solemn um, tribute to the memory of the departed talent. I hereby commiserate with the family, friends, colleagues, and fans all over the world of Imole's sad death. I wish everyone love and light, and may his soul rest in perfect peace. That's a statement coming from Lagos State Governor Babajide Sowolu. And he has also announced that, yes, he has sent a, uh, an official team to visit the family of the disease, talking about being led um, by the, the Lagos State Deputy Governor, talking about Femi Amzad, to visit the family and speak with the family. But in all of this, we are hoping that justice is actually going to prevail. Because that's what people are asking for. What's responsible for all of the, the protests that we are seeing across is because people want to see things done. They want to see that the police are actually doing their job. That's what is responsible for all of this. And look at the heights that the fans are sticking all of this to. Naramali previously had over 7.5 follower, million followers on IG. But as we speak now, it has dropped to just 500,000 people that have followed him. There has been a lot of news of people who are no longer listening to his song. So the cancel culture is actually playing out right now in this particular story. As the story unfolds, of course, we'll keep you posted and we are all hoping to see justice, that justice will prevail as people continue uh, to seek out means of calling out the government to accountability to ensure that the citizens are being carried away, uh, carried along with all of the plans and all of the investigation. As, I mean, I was pleased when the Lagos State Governor said that the, he would be brief, uh, the, the, the security agencies will be briefing the public periodically to know to let us know what is actually uh, happening and of, of course we can only hope that at the end of the day justice will prevail so that's all we can take on what's trending today my name is wisdom and we wholly hope uh, we know and we are sure that the, uh, the search for justice of course will continue on the death of mobad bye for now